I began. This is, in fact, the most important election in our lifetimes. Meeting in Portland Saturday, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders is sharing his two cents on the current election cycle. We have got to fight for a vision for the future. Encouraging Maine voters to push for more progressive policies as they narrow down their presidential pick. Well, I think compared to Trump, <laughs> I think the choice is pretty clear. And I think that choice being Vice President Kamala Harris as she garners support to become the official Democratic presidential nominee. In Maine, Harris is predicted to inch ahead by 8% against former President Donald Trump, according to a recent poll conducted by the University of New Hampshire Survey Center. What we are seeing all over the country is the polls are ticking up. Uh, to in favor of Kamala Harris, and I think she has a good chance to win. I think. But for those still on the fence, Sanders encourages voters to stick to their progressive values. It's not just about electing Kamala Harris, which we have to do. It's about creating a political party which stands up for working people. Speaking with the crowd, Sanders notes implementing changes such as a universal health care system and increasing the federal minimum wage is needed now more than ever as many Mainers feel the pinch of a rising cost of living. If every other major country on earth can guarantee health care to all of their people, we in the United States of America can make health care a human right. Also hammering the need to reinstate financial campaign restrictions reversed by the Citizens United decision, something Sanders said would help working class voters in the long run. Democracy means one person, one vote, not billionaires buying elections. That's the biggest thing for me in public funding of elections. Hearing Bernie's case for why today was, I think, very uh, yeah, got me excited and more energized about Those in attendance say Sanders support towards Harris gives them a positive outlook as the vice president looks to secure votes from progressive Mainers. There's a lot of folks that might be on the fence in this election. His voice is going to be extremely important in this race. A presidential race many Mainers are counting down the days for. In Portland, Caroline LaCour, News Center, Maine. Now, Maine Republicans have already expressed some disapproval for Harris's presidential campaign. Senator Susan Collins stating she plans to write in former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley on the ballot, even if Harris is the Democratic nominee. We reached out to leaders of the Maine GOP for a comment on Sanders' visit, but are waiting for a response.